people treat you unfairly, and when people do wrong to you, or you see wrong happening, that you shouldn't say anything, it's a less plan. I, I'm going to take the, you know, take the sabr approach and not say anything. It's being said about things that are out of our control. When things that are happening that are out of our control, there's always a plan in place. There's always something happening that, that is from Allah. And we, us standing up for justice, us speaking out against the wrong that is happening, is an obligation we have on ourselves. But this is beyond that. It's, that's obvious, that's common sense. That's something that most of the Qur'an talks about. But there's an attitude before Allah Azza wa that we have to humble ourselves. We have to, I have to really, really acknowledge in myself that I'm not going to question Allah. I'm not going to say, Ya Allah, I don't see the, the sense behind this plan. I don't get it. If I was planning, I would have done a better job. Ma'adullah. This is the thought that goes in someone's head. This is the, the thing that has to be killed. Because my sense of planning, my decision making, in my head, you're thinking you're more merciful than Allah? You're thinking you're more just than Allah? You know, am I thinking that I'm a, I'm a better planner than Allah? I know better than Allah? I have more wisdom than Allah? Is that what I'm thinking? Because when I'm questioning His judgment like that, then I'm cl- there's clearly something wrong. Of course, we can get close to that sometimes. Even the angels got close to that at one point. They didn't understand why Adam was created. They didn't get it. They even asked Allah Azza wa Jalla, تَجْعَلُوا فِيهَا مَنْ يُفْسِدُوا فِيهَا وَيَسْفِكُوا الدِّمَاءِ Are you going to put on the earth someone who's going to cause corruption and spill blood? We don't get it. But immediately, immediately, as soon as they said this, because they don't understand, it's okay, we can ask Allah, Ya Rabb, I wish I understood why this is happening. Give me contentment to deal with what is happening. That's okay. But immediately, what did the angel say? وَنَحْنُ نُسَبِّحُ بِحَمْدِكَ وَنُقَدِّسُ لَكَ And by the way, you're perfect. We're not questioning your perfection. We don't get it, but that doesn't mean that you're making the wrong decision at all. That's, that's humility. That's to be a abd of one of, one of the ibad of Allah. Abdan min ibadina. And this has nothing, on the one hand, you could have knowledge of the book, you could have, you could know the Arabic language and have memorized the Quran and have studied hadith and you know all of those things, but this isn't there. Contentment with Allah's decree is not there. Contentment with it. Knowing that what Allah has done is better. Knowing that what Allah has done has wisdom behind it. Knowing what Allah has done, Allah is a better planner than you and I will ever be. And there's good in it, maybe that good is, you know, sometimes a, a plant grows within a couple of days, sometimes a plant grows in 20 years. Right? So the, the seed that you're experiencing now, we don't know the good of it will come now or it will come a hundred years from now. We don't know that. That's Allah's plan. That we can't have any knowledge of that. This is not something Allah Azza wa decided to tell us.